Hello and welcome to another Tablets Glass and Porium YouTube video. Today I wanted to look at a more neutral Valentine's Day product. Something that's not all kind of pink and flowers and reds and whatever. Something that maybe you could give to a guy or maybe just someone who doesn't sort of love, love sort of pinky Valentine's Day. So I had the idea of these hearts, which are kind of floral bumblebee hearts in quite neutral, simple colours using our lovely variegated leaves and our bumblebees. And today I want to show you how to make these. So the first thing I've done is cut a glass out of tech, uh, cut a heart out of tecta, and then I want to cut a heart out of blue glass, but I want it the size of a thickness of a cane round smaller. So I drew on this heart. It's a, I made sure that it's um, the size of a small ca uh, a cane width um, smaller all round, and I'm now going to cut that out. So you can see I've cut these to size. I need to give this glass a clean. Guys, always clean your glass. Um, if it's still got Sharpie on, it's probably not a good idea. Um, I now want to make a, um, a border around the edge. Now I'm going to dam this. So I'm going to cut pieces of fibre paper, this kind of big, um, six, probably five millimetres thick, because you want it slightly lower than six millimetres. And I'm going to put it around here and put little dams all the way around to hold this. Because if I fall for use this now, we'll just lose, this become a blob and it won't really look like a heart anymore. So I want to make sure that I'm damming the heart shape to keep it. So I'm going to put these Marini round and um, put the dams around and then we can have a look how it looks. So here you can see they're ready. I put the Marini round. Now guys, if you don't want to use Marini, because there's probably 25 grams worth of Marini in each one and that's quite a lot of money, you could just use frit. And you could use coarse frit or little pieces of glass and that would be damned too. The reason I'm doing this border is I want a dark border for these. Um, almost reminiscent of stained glass. So now I kind of want to um, add a bit of texture on the main glass on the full fuse. Uh, I'm in sort of a bit of grading colour. So I'm just using fine um, frit here. This one is light turquoise. So the bottom piece is 1408 light aqua tint. No, um, sorry, 1804 even light aqua tint. And then um, this is a bit of light turquoise I'm putting on top. Um, I'm then going to go with some 1408, which is slightly darker than the it's a, the, the like it's the um, light aqua tint rather the light aqua blue rather than the tint. Right, I'll get my words together in a minute, but I want to sort of leave like a kind of almost like a sort of area of where it's lighter. In the, in the middle. So I'm going to use my finger to sort of um, move that back. But I want it off centre, I don't want it. Um, and I'm just going to also add a little bit of emerald. I love emerald as a colour. Just sort of and a bit more green feeling to, the, to it. So this will go in on a full fuse, and then when it comes out, we can add the tack fuse elements. I'll do the same for this piece, um, and then get them in the kiln. So here are these out of the kiln. They're quite spiky along the edges, um, which is a problem with this technique. So I'm now going to go and grind the edges um, to make them nice and smooth, and then we can add the decoration on top. So I've cleaned up the edges and just ground them off a bit. Um, I've decided, having looked at it, that I like this side more. It's hard to see because I've given it a sand blast because my kiln stuff wasn't great and so I hadn't got the best um, finish. So I've sand blasted this side. I'm going to give it a really good clean and um, then I'm going to start putting the strings on. So I just want to sort of create a floral scene coming up through the through the heart, um, I have some of our floral green stringers. I've got variegated green leaves. I tend to do this dab and dip technique, where I put a blob of glue and then I put the stringers, the um, sorry, dip the marini in and put it in the glue. Now I know I use a lot of glue, but I'm quite clumsy. Um, I find that glue helps everything hold everything in place. So I'm going to carry on decorating these and we can have a look at them before they go in the kiln. Share. 
So here they are, ready to go in the kiln. Now I've scattered over some of our fine um, vitrograph scrap. We don't have it in stock very often, guys, and in a way I think I would have just rather used frit. I think if I'd used some kind of red and yellow and maybe even a bit of blue opal frit, that would have been fine as well. And I think you, the effect might have been nicer than what I've used. But I was just, just you know, had a, we had a very small amount of, um, of it left from selling it and I thought I'd use a bit of that on it. But you could just use some um, coarse frit. Or not, maybe even medium, I would think, rather than the coarse, sorry. And yeah, use that um, in opals instead of this. So here are these out of the kiln. We drilled holes and using some very elegant wire wrapping have just wrapped them, um, have put kind of wire handles on, which I think look kind of cute and nice. I like these, it's quite neutral Valentine's Day gift. I think for someone who doesn't like one, you know, pink heartsy hearts, this is quite a nice way to go. Um, they look, we're gonna look really good. I'm just gonna get a piece of white on a white background. Um, you can kind of see all the, different kind of um, blues we have there and the kind of grading of that. So it'd be quite nice hanging in a window. I'm not sure with, in our, you can see it, but it's a bit, you know, nice idea. I like the kind of marini around the edge, but as I said, that's quite an expensive option. So you could always just use frit or something else or rods and just put rods in. Um, so I really hope you've enjoyed this idea and I look forward to seeing what you do with it. You remember you can get all our products at tablessglassemporium.com and please subscribe to our newsletters. Um, they come out once a week. You can do that on our website. And then you hear about all our new products and all new videos coming out. You can also follow us on Facebook. We have our Facebook page and we have a Facebook group where you can share all your ideas and see what other people are making with Armorini. It's a great place. It has the resources for templates. So if you're ever looking for anything like that, that's on our Facebook group and you just need to ask to join. So I hope to see you next time. And um, thank you very much for watching. One, two, three, four. Spending 70 hours just to be a Monterey.